two, one. You're on. Hey everybody, Father Peter here. It's January 2nd. Welcome to the new year. I was with a great teacher this morning and she was talking to a group of us and she said, you know, she's not much on New Year's resolutions because she always fails. She suggested perhaps we try a New Year's intention. So therefore, when we fail, we can always come back to our intention. I really like this. In the Benedictine way, they always talk about this phrase, always we begin again. We're always beginning again. And now here at the beginning of a new year, we get to begin again. So I'd like to talk to you about two possibilities for a New Year's intention for your spiritual life. Uh, the first is uh, to invite you to be part of our series here, Fully Alive. This is, of course, based on the idea that the glory of God is a human being fully alive. And what a fall and uh, up to Christmas tide have we had in this series. If you've not been a part of it, I'd like you to, in, uh, to invite you to be a part of it now because starting this coming Sunday, uh, we're going to begin to talk about sex and a lot of sex in the month of January. I love that about the Episcopal Church, that we can set January aside and talk about sex in church. Now, on Sunday, Allison Grisecki is going to be speaking. Allison's one of our own, longtime member, former senior warden. She has a PhD from the Hebrew Scriptures from Yale, beloved teacher uh, at Yale, and she's going to be talking about sex in the Hebrew Scriptures. Tell me you don't need to learn a little bit about sex in the Hebrew Scriptures. I mean, irresistible. Uh, in addition, I want you also to know that the Episcopal Church at large is going to be uh, part of something called the Good Book Club. And as part of the Good Book Club, you can simply go to your computer and type in uh, the Good Book Club, and lo and behold, what do you see but a page that says the Good Book Club. Now, the Good Book Club is going to be reading the Gospel according to John. I just love John's Gospel, and I invite you to love it too. John's Gospel is the mystical Gospel. It talks about Jesus' voicing really from the heavens uh, throughout the whole of his human life. It begins with, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It moves to the wedding at Cana of Galilee and the miracle of the wine. And it moves also, of course, to <coughs> a story I love, which is uh, Jesus speaking with a Samaritan woman at Jacob's well. Here's some water from Jacob's well. All this uh, picked up, of course, from our last trip to the Holy Land. John's Gospel ends with my favorite passage of the resurrected Jesus speaking uh, to Peter uh, in what is uh, on the edge of the Sea of Galilee, in a place known as the primacy of Peter. So I invite you into a deeper relationship with our Lord through either participating in Fully Alive, reading John's Gospel, going to the Good Book Club, or just plain old coming to church. My inspirational candle here says, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That's this coming Sunday. Second Sunday of Christmas, we're going to be reading this story, The Three Wise Men. Come on and be a part of it. I can't wait to see you. This is a church that really does go out and make disciples who lead a deeper life in Christ, a more holy communion with one another, and a greater love for the world. Come be a part of Jesus' mission here. See you soon.